but there was talk and he could possibly be calling back players like Ike Uche, your brother Sonia Luko as well, plays for Hull City, Yobo Osazi, who knows, with the friendlies coming up in the build-up to the World Cup. Well, I, I certainly think, obviously, you know, I would love to see my brother in contention to get into the World Cup squad. Um, I think it, it certainly helps him playing in the Premier League. He's done very well sort of the first, um, first few games he's played. Um, so hopefully he'll be on Stephen Keshi's radar. Um, I think players like Osazi, you know, th those are the players that you, we want to be seeing at World Cups. You want to be seeing, you know, uh, wearing the shirt with pride. Um, and, I, and I just hope those players make themselves available um, to do so because, you know, you, you want to be able to say at the end of your career, I played in the World Cup, you know, I, and, and I did well for my team. And you don't want to turn around and say, well, I didn't really turn up because of other, other reasons. Do you think that your brother, having come from Rangers into the Premier League, into Hull City, slightly playing away from England, obviously, has probably affected his uh, selection for the national team, playing away from the big stage that is the Premier League? Yeah, perhaps. I, I, I mean, I think if you're an international coach, you need to, you need to be aware of all the players all over the world that are playing at a high level um, and I think that includes Scotland mm -hmm. so I certainly wouldn't think that is an excuse not to um, you know not to pick my brother but I think you know if he's performing well um, you know he performed well at Rangers he's been performing well at Hull so um, if he keeps that up hopefully he'll keep being on, on Stephen Kesh's radar